The flour factor. Yeast reaction with self-rising versus all-purpose flour. Hello there, baking enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of baking and explore an intriguing question. What happens if you use self-rising flour instead of all-purpose flour in a yeast recipe? Will it change the reaction of the yeast? Let's find out. Knowing the difference between these two types of flour is crucial for your baking adventures. What's the difference between self-rising and all-purpose flour? First, let's understand the main differences between self-rising and all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is a type of flour that doesn't contain any leavening agents, it's simply a blend of hard and soft wheat. On the other hand, self-rising flour is a combination of all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt. This blend gives self-rising flour its own leavening capability. How does yeast react in a recipe? Now, let's dive into yeast, our tiny baking heroes. Yeast is a type of fungus that feeds on the starches in flour and produces carbon dioxide gas as a byproduct. This gas gets trapped in the dough, causing it to rise. This process, called fermentation, is what gives your bread that delightful, fluffy texture. Will yeast react differently with self-rising flour? So, what happens if we introduce yeast into a recipe that uses self-rising flour? Will it create a super loaf? Unfortunately, not exactly. You see, the additional leavening agents in self-rising flour can actually interfere with the yeast fermentation process. This is because the baking powder in self-rising flour starts to produce gas as soon as it gets wet, unlike yeast, which takes a bit longer. The early release of carbon dioxide from the baking powder can disrupt the yeast's growth and activity. This could result in a bread that rises too quickly and then collapses, or a bread that doesn't rise enough, depending on the amount of yeast and self-rising flour used. So, while it won't hurt your yeast, using self-rising flour instead of all-purpose flour in a yeast recipe can result in unpredictable outcomes. In conclusion, while it might be tempting to swap self-rising flour for all-purpose flour in a yeast recipe, it's not always the best choice due to the presence of additional leavening agents. For the best results, stick with the type of flour specified in your recipe. Baking is a science, after all. I hope this explanation helps you understand why it's so important to use the correct type of flour when baking with yeast. Happy baking!